King of Sports. Huge bumper wrestling. Welcome, everybody, to New Japan Strong and the new beginning in the USA Tour. Alex Kozlov and Kevin Kelly will call all the action. A fantastic main event has been signed for this week, Alex. An eagerly anticipated rematch from the Super J Cup. Yes, we know the ever-controversial El Fantasmo won the tournament, but a lot of unfinished business with he and Leo Rush. They meet one-on-one -on -one here tonight. Well, I, I'll be honest with you. I don't want to see the... the he is the worst human being that there is. You're talking El about El, Fan El Fantasmo, yeah, El of Fantasmo. course. I really hope that Leo Rush can, uh, can on our behalf, uh, just, just put El Fantasmo in his place. That would certainly be nice. I'm looking forward to seeing this physical contest one-on-one. -on -one. Fred Rosser versus Hikaleo. Oh, wow. Well, anytime you see Fred Rosser in a ring, he means business. What is he going to be able to do against the Giant and Hikaleo? Let's open things up, though, with six-man tag team action. We will see Adrian Quest, Mysterioso, and your former tag team partner, Rocky Romero. They'll do battle against the DKC Barrett Brown and Ray Oris. Give me some thoughts. Well, that's certainly going to be fun. I look forward to that. It's going to be a fantastic episode here on the New Beginning USA Tour. And don't forget, folks, Next week's main event will be for the IWGP U.S. Heavyweight title. Kenta versus champion John Moxley. The countdown is on. Let's head to the ring. It's going to be an interesting tag team contest. Unique styles and personalities. Six man tag. We got the DKC that's now in black trunks, now being taken under the guidance of Shibata. By the way, there is some pressure of one individual in this match. Now, it's not the DKC who's a young lion, and it's not Ray Oris, who just recently defeated TJP. It's Barrett Brown. My sources tell me that if he doesn't start finding the winning formula, his time as part of the roster of New Japan Strong might be coming to an end. Well, that's certainly a pleasant thing to think about when you have all that pressure on you. He's certainly got the tools to do it. 
we'll hopefully get to see it in this match. It won't be easy, though. Eye patch wearing, nefariously daring, notorious, much more than glorious. Forever close lining oh, like a mini bus. With a Rocky Romero, a successful rapper, artist, podcaster, is looking to match that success in the ring. You know what? If there was a never open weight six men tag team combination that could be quite a force, I might say these three would have quite a go. You've got the heavyweight power of the man you call Big Poppy Pump right there, Mysterioso, and the high flying Adrian Quest, King of Sneaky Child Rock and Romero. They'd be a handful. Do you get paid? Do you get royalties every time somebody says Big Poppy Pump? Look, that's Big Poppy Pump. It's three, it's three years. All right, Rocky, come on now, get your sum. Draw off the power of Big Poppy Pump. I'm sure Rocky Romero is. I'm sure Rocky Romero is happy to be teaming with the Big Poppy Pump. Great way to start things off here in the New Beginning USA Tour. And a fantastic main event. El Fantasmo versus Leo Rush. And of course, next week's main event, the IWGP US Heavyweight Championship. The long-awaited battle. John Moxley defending the title right here on television against Kenta. Wow, well, we've been waiting for this. Barry, ready. Quest, ready. Bring it. Well, it looks like that Brown and Adrian Quest starting off. Power and elbow tie up to begin. Adrian Quest. Barrett Brown. Taking that wrist. Adrian. The idea that Barrett Brown needs to find that winning formula, I'm sure, is going to make him even more intense than we have seen him in the past. Reversal of the wrist lock and now backing. Quest in the ropes. So the referee will call for a break. Will we see a clean break from Barrett Brown? Aggressively sending Adrian Quest, swing and a miss with the clothesline, waist lock and the elbow frees Barrett Brown. The Texas native Barrett Brown now taking no, tries the body slam. Adrian Quest off the ropes. And a head scissors for Adrian Quest. Oh, wow. wow, what a clothesline. Cover two, very aggressive there. You know, maybe that pressure that he's feeling, you know, he's angry. He wants to show the world that he truly belongs. Listen, he didn't just, uh, you know, fall off the truck and show up and get to compete. He fought his way to get here, as did the DKC, who fought his, his own series of struggles to eventually be accepted by Shibata to train in the LA Dojo. And now he's the legal man and gets a near fall. Hard stomps to the chest of Adrian Quest. Are we allowed to say that the DKC is in the house, or is that not uh, cool with him being now a, officially a young lion? I guess we can just say that the DKC is just... He's here. He's here. And Mysterioso tagged in. Big Poppy Pump is in the <laughs> ring. <laughs> oh. And the DKC letting it fly. Series of strikes. Man, Mysterioso just has the coolest gear that I've seen here on New Japan Strong. Always different color combinations. Ooh, man. A little bit of that karate background being shown by DKC. Going for a hip toss. DKC! Chopped down and Mysterioso kicks out. Barely a one, but an aggressive. DKC trying to lift the much bigger luchador. DKC, I'm sure, is well aware of the reputation of Big Poppy Pump. Sending Mysterioso to the corner. Unable to connect with the splash, and Mysterioso with the roll up, oh, and look, look at the power. That is right there. That is big poppy pump. Right almost there. a victory. Almost the victory. What's impressive about uh, Mysterioso is he's such a powerhouse and still so mobile, able to use the ropes to, to springboard and mount attacks. 
using that ring. And now Rocky Romero coming in to get him some. Rocky, I'm pulling for him. Why do you say that, like the way you said it? I'm just showing my support. You know, he's done a lot for the business. Wait a minute. I mean, you're making it sound like he's on his last legs. No, no, no. I mean, the, that, that, is not, that is not the case. All right, so now Adrian Quest tagged in after Rocky Romero was very effective against the DKC. They have isolated the newly minted young lion, DKC, and Adrian Quest gets the near fall. Fast-paced action in our six-man tag team opener here. And now Mysterioso tagged back in. Seems like this trio can do whatever they want right now against the DKC. They have him weakened and isolated from his tag team partners. A succession of shoulder. Shoulders into the midsection and now club in the back of DKC. Well, there's going to be a lot of power in our semifinal here on night one of the New Beginning USA Tour with Fred Rosser one-on-one -on -one versus Hikaleo. Now springboard. Beautiful Monsoff. Yes, sir. Two. Romero and Quest holding. DKC's partners off in case there would be a three, and Barrett, Brown, and Rayora sent away. Well, Mysterious and Rocky Romero and Adrian Quest are working really good together. And Rocky as well. Don't forget about Rocky. I, I said Rocky. You did? I did. You sure? Maybe very quickly. Okay. Full body slam by Rocky Romero. Full body slam, of course, you know, the Forever Hooligans, former IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. Rocky with eight reigns in total. Three different partners throughout the years. Oh, single leg crab. Beautiful, look at the technique on that single leg crab. Hang on, Barrett Brown is coming in, and he breaks it up. Five minutes. And now and Rocky. Rocky with that arm breaker. Yeah, the pump handle there, that sends Barrett Brown out to the outside. Hard chop by Rocky. Yeah. So now Romero sends the DKC, whips him hard. Rocky going for the forever clotheslines. I wonder how long this is gonna go for. I mean, we only got 15 minutes in this match. Or... Oh! oh it's met with a big drop kick by DKC. Usually the answer is forever. But in this case, they ended with that tremendous drop kick by the DKC. And Rocky needing to get a tag, it does. Tags on both sides, Adrian Quest, Ray Orris now legal. First, down goes Big Poppy Pump. Ray Orris, who's been uh, very impressive in recent weeks, get, uh, able to get the win over TJP. Look at Orris move so quickly, so effectively. Quick end here, no. So Ray Orris making the moments count, getting his first opportunity as legal man, and taking the measure so far of Adrian Quest. Adrian Quest though beats him in and now has him set up. Full Nelson, watch out. Oh, oh wild swing almost. and a miss. Back to the Lucha Roots. Oh no! Misdirection, Ray Oris using the quickness to take advantage of the situation. And now Oris spring, oh, watch wow. out! Hurricane Rana. On Mysterioso, Adrian Quest is looking to fly, but Ray Orris able to stop him with a kick. Orris now going to the corner. Corner's been so effective for Orris. Cross body off the top, leg is hooked too, and a kick out. Vamos! Let's go indeed. Ray Orris looking great. Adrian Quest, though, takes him up. Drops him on his back. And now Rocky up in the corner, the tag. And so Rocky and Ray Orris will go. Here now for the clothesline. And spins Ray Orris upside wow. down. Wow, two and a kick out. A lot of power delivered by, delivered by Rocky on that one. You know, we don't talk about it enough, but Rocky, he is really good with those clotheslines. He really knows how to swing. Jernoy, no. Swing and a miss with the kick, but catches him. Second time around. Yeah, it appears like that hurt the shoulder of Rocky. And now Barrett Brown tagged in. Rocky! 
back elbow in a corner. Yep. And a snap mare. Oh, big drop kick. Man, Barrett Brown not getting cheated at all. Leg is hooked too. You can tell the determination of Barrett Brown. Take it down! Full body slam. Two. Well, listen, these guys are not on scholarship. It's not like the Young Lions system where there is an expectation down the road for a uh, journeyman like Barrett Brown. The expectation is to get wins because there's a, you can imagine how many wrestlers there are that would love the opportunity that Barrett Brown has been given to compete here on New Japan Strong. Wait a minute. Snap German and Rocky Romero. Yes. Wait a minute, here comes the DKC and Ray Oris. They're taking care of Adrian Quest and Mysterioso, and now Rocky, this leaves him three on one. Oh, and a spinning heel kick to the midsection. And now all three men on the attack. One, two. Mysterioso able to break the count at the last second. Uh, now Mysterioso finds himself on the wrong end of a two-on-one situation here. But wait, and there's a, a lucha style of Mysterioso. Now calling Adrian Quest in. How about that offensive opportunity and taking Ray Oris down and out. All the way up and over. Beautiful lucha tag team work. This leaves us to our legal man, which is Bear Brown, charges in. Rocky catches him with the uppercut. Ooh! Rips him with the right hand. Picks him up for a suplex, Wait but a Bear Brown Inside rolls him cradle. up. Inside cradle! Wow, that was so close. Rocky! Oh, and catches him with a big knee. Ten minutes has elapsed. Watch Ten this, no, no, no. Thrust kick into the ah. midsection. Barrett's got him, no! Rocky he able to reverse it. that end into oh. the arm Bear Brown holding on, but able to lock oh, that in. Immediately and having a tap out, Brown. immediate. Time, 10 minutes and 13 seconds. Here are your winners, Adrian Quest. Rocky Romero perfected and that arm bar. And Bear Brown had no choice but to submit. Forever close lining like a minibus. With a Rocky Romero able to pick up the win for his team. Yes, sir. Rocky Romero, Adrian Quest, and Once Mysterioso. Again, Mysterioso. Adrian Quest and Rocky Romero. Boy, that was a great, great battle. You could see how the different elements, the different fighting styles that all six athletes brought to the ring and how each really relied on their strengths to try to lead their teams to victory. But in the end, it was the Rocky Romero captain squad who gets the win here. And a very, very angry Barrett Brown leaving the ring as to what could have been. I'll be interested to hear the, if we get a opportunity to hear from the team in the locker room area what what's going through Barrett Brown's mind but a great start here big poppy pump he just said it you get paid Alex right you know, like 16 cents every time somebody says it two pesos two pesos that's a taco Damn it! No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. No, don't touch me. Tranquilo, tranquilo, tranquilo. I said before, I've preached. I've preached about what this year, what this company. You see? This, this, this! All these symbols and what it means to me? Yeah, sure. It means a lot to you, too. I have worked so damn long to be here. I have not gotten a win since this year started. I wasn't a part of the Super J Cup. I didn't make it past the first round! Tranquilo, the first tranquilo, round tranquilo. of Hans Break Crown! Man, you almost got him. You almost I'm not fighting for a spot, I'm fighting for a job! We come back, we come back! Let's do this. You Something's gotta change. The first round of the first round of the first round of the first round.
Big opportunities for Bullet Club to pick up wins here on the New Beginning USA Tour. Of course, El Fantasmo versus Leo Rush in the main event. What about Kenta and John Moxley next week for the U.S. title? But Hikaleo getting set to go one-on-one -on -one versus Fred Rosser. Aokuna, Pareto Club, Boys, no playing around here from Hikaleo. He's got a very aggressive look at his eye. Well, I mean, he's he's got a serious challenger in in front of him, and Fred Rosser, who is just such a such a brawler himself. This will be interesting. They blocked horns in tag team action, and they've been drawn to one another like a moth to flame. But Mr. No Days Off knows the challenge that lies before him. And he knocked down the biggest member of Bullet Club. Fred Rosser says he's tired of the two-on-one, three-on-one, four-on-one with Bullet Club. He says he can beat any member of Bullet Club one-on-one, -on -one and he gets the chance here. If you can get the opportunity to get a one-on-one, -on -one, hopefully the rest of the Bullet Club members are not lurking around, and they can let these men fight. This one will be physical. Fred Rosser in the middle of that ring, sending a message to Hikaleo that he's not intimidated. Big test for the young gun and Bullet Club. Looking to knock off the veteran Fred Rosser. We'll see what happens here. Nicoleo, six feet nine inches tall. Definitely Justin Bolton. And Fred Rosser, the what 18 year veteran. Now all that expertise he's gonna need every bit of it. And the bell sounds, and here we go. It's our semifinal match. Night one of the New Beginning USA tour here on New Japan Strong. They stare a hole through one another. can feel the tension oh, between man. these two. It is building. And a strong collar and elbow tie-up. Hikaleo throwing Fred Rosser to the corner. Closes in. And Rosser going at it. it. Rosser connecting. Another wild swing and a miss by Hikaleo. Rosser immediately going to the knees. Trying to chop the big man down. And that's exactly what he's going to have to do. Oh! Taken out by a huge clothesline by Hikaleo. Second generation Hikaleo, of course, the brother to the Gorillas of Destiny, the youngest son of Haku. Comes from a tremendous family of toughness. Ross, Rosser talked about, uh, talked to me earlier today about having a great week of training. Felt very good physically and mentally heading in. That mental side is such an underrated portion of, of what you need to do to be successful. Right, Alex? Absolutely. You, the physical is a given. You have to be physically ready. It's the mental that's sometimes the hardest. But, you know, Fred Rosser has been doing this a long time. You know, he's gotten himself into a place where mentally he's ready to face the competition. Now jumping up, yep, jumping up on the back of Hikaleo here with the sleeper hold. Again, not too many times where Rosser finds himself at a height difference, but such is the case here, giving up several inches and now trying to lock in the cross-face chicken wing. So transitioning from one submission hold to another and trying to clasp those hands. Well, that's a tight, tight lock, but Hikaleo, too strong picking Fred Rosser and driving him to that corner. Fred Rosser with a club and the big man. Oh, well, wait a minute now. Catches him. Chest of Hikaleo wide open. Referee giving him a lot of room to extricate themselves from this corner here. And now Rosser repositioning himself and oh. Hikaleo extending the boot and driving Fred Rosser down off his perch. Fred Rosser driven down by the size 15 of Hikaleo. That really caught Fred Rosser off guard. And now Hikaleo going out to the floor. Remember in their tag team match a few weeks ago, 
Hikaleo had driven Fred Rosser repeatedly into the staging just uh, behind One, Hikaleo as he circles the ring. Two, three, four. Referee applying five, the count to both men. Six, seven. And now a dangerous eight, situation out here on the floor. Nine, Hikaleo picking Rosser ten, up, trying to throw him into the pole, but instead, 11, Hikaleo stopped the path as 12, Rosser was trying to shove him in. Pay attention to the referee's 13, count, gentlemen. 14. Here comes Rosser charging. Oh, oh Hikaleo drives him with a power slam on the outside. And the referee having to stop the count to see if he needs to call for an immediate stoppage after that power slam on the floor. My God, Hikaleo turned Fred Rosser inside out and drove him into the concrete. Well, you knew this was going to be a fight. One. Two. Now restarting the count. Three. Four. Hikaleo. Five. Not done six, punishing Rosser out on the floor. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And oh no, Alex. Hikaleo bending Fred Rosser over that post. The pressure that that puts on that lower back. And again, the referee asking Fred Rosser if he wants to continue. Hikaleo drives a right hand, the wide open rib cage of Fred One, Rosser. Two. Three. Well, the the countout has been reset, and Hikaleo continuing to stretch that back over that metal post. This is the power, this is the force that Hikaleo can be. A man that size, with that much strength, that much agility. He's putting the work on the, on the ribs and the Five back minutes area of Fred Rosser. Five what kind minutes. of power will Fred Rosser have with his attacks with a, with a back that's injured? Now dragging him away from the ropes. Uh, cover and a two count. Rosser able to kick out, trying to fight back. But Hikaleo getting right back on top of Fred Rosser. Not going to give him a chance to breathe. Drops an elbow to the ribcage area of Fred Rosser. Nicoleo, uh, 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 who originally was trained by Bad Luck Fale, and then came to the Nogue Dojo, trained there, and then was sent on excursion, competed in England, and now continuing the excursion here in the LA Dojo. Putting the knee on the on the throat of Fred Rosser over that rope. I don't think there's gonna to be too much more time before Hikaleo finds his way uh, in New Japan Pro Wrestling, no doubt about it, because he is a dangerous force and he is dismantling Fred Rosser here. Talking trash to Rosser as he puts the boot in the midsection. So now Rosser flung across and crashing hard, back first again. Hikaleo crashing in with the clothesline. Elevation drives him down. Big body slam. Drops the leg drop to the neck of Fred Rosser. Leg is hooked in the center of the ring and a kick out at two. There is not another athlete like Hikaleo on the roster of either New Japan Pro Wrestling or here in New Japan Strong. Well, he is certainly a specimen and such an athlete for a man his size. Things are not looking good for, for Fred Rosser. Paintbrush and Fred, I'm not so sure that's the right strategy when he's got a man in the dire straits of Fred Rosser. But now look at this, the wow. Cobra twist. And now digging the fingers into the ribs. Fred Rosser, who's fought to overcome so much adversity in his career, preaching the message of blocking the hate, never takes a day off. 
his positive message, certainly the antithesis of that would be Hikaleo. Fred Rosser trying to fight back. Barely able to stand on his two feet. Needing, holding himself up with Hikaleo, who quickly grabs and pulls him in. Belly to back suplex, Hikaleo will Keep him right there for a pinning combination and a near fall. Try it again, why not? Another two. Could this be a two? two. And finally, Ross are able to kick out and get free of Hikaleo. Barely, I mean, his energy is fading. The amount of punishment that he has taken so far by the big man, Hikaleo. Now having words with the referee, taking exception to the referee's cadence on the series of counts. Come on, Fred. Oh. You need your team with you? Huh? Oh. Yeah, come on, come on, Fred. Oh. It's punishing Fred Rosser. It all began with that power slam out on the floor, which seems like, has to seem like an eternity ago for Fred Rosser. Two. Suffering greatly under the power of Hikaleo. Now Rosser just grabs a hole. Wait a minute, Hikaleo misses with the boot. And now Rosser willing himself up to the, to the second rope, leaping off. An effective, desperate clothesline, leaping from that second rope. Spies for Rosser a little bit of time to recuperate from all the punishment. Nicolaio was trapped and they have uh, strained a muscle there as he extended that leg over the top rope, but now Rosser trying to oh, pick him up, but... Oh, well, that must have taken a lot out of him, just trying to pick him up. And now the choke slam will end it. Choke slam! Oh, Got and he him. And that must be it. Choke that slam! Cover! Two! two. Rosser with a Ten ton of heart! Left. Wow. Ten minutes! <sighs> Nicolaio surprise. Wow, I think that, that's got to be the first, I think, to kick out of the choke slam. That was amazing where Rosser was able to get that energy in him. Now, could be thinking Tongan Driller here. This is definitely going to be it. Rosser Wait, lands behind him. Swing and a miss. Backslide, backslide. Trying to pull him forward, but Nicolaio's fighting him so strong. Wait Rosser. a minute, wait a minute. Rosser pulling on a hair of Hikaleo. Pulling him down. Able to gain One, leverage, two, two three. three, he gets it. Wait a wow. He gets it. Time, wow. 10 minutes and 40 seconds. Here is your winner, Well, I Fred gotta say, I like Rosser. this. I like this. I mean, Fred Rosser barely able to escape with a victory, given the Bullet Club member, Hikaleo, a little bit of a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, but do the ends justify the means? I mean, Fred Rosser, yes, he did get the win. Look, you gotta do what you gotta do. Winner of the match. Especially against the Bullet Club. I Come can't on. argue with you there. Hikaleo on the... I'm sure oh, not. he's he is not happy. He is pissed. So Rosser escapes with the win. Hikaleo letting the referee know. I don't think I'm sure the referee didn't see it. Oh, come, come on. on! What in the world is this now? Well, he's uh, he's obviously not happy. Going after one of the ringside attendants. Your issues with Fred Rosser. What in the world is Hikaleo doing? And now he's got his hand, that massive hand, wrapped around the you're, throat. You're gonna kill him. Oh no! Oh, God! Choke slam by Hikaleo. Well, that's not gonna take back a loss that he. No, lost. it certainly doesn't change the result. Come on! Oh, oh, uh, Kevin, you, you you probably best stay quiet. He's not happy. I'm, I'm just going to speak very quietly. I mean, it's nice to see Bullet Club to, to get humbled sometimes. Well, we will see what happens in our main event. That's coming up next. Yeah, I want to see Phantasmo get humbled. The son of a bitch cheated. I'm the bad guy. I'm the one who pulls the hair, not him. My shoulders worked down. He pulled my damn beautiful hair. The son of a bitch, I want a rematch. I want a rematch and I want a new ref. That ref can't count for shit. Fred Rosser, you goddamn cheater. I want a rematch 
and a new ref. Son of a bitch! What'd you have to? Oh, I'm checking out a new merch on Token Shop Global. Oh yeah, they put out new products like every, every month. month. I just got a t-shirt. I got a beautiful towel. I just got boxers. Oh yeah? I'm wearing them right now. I just ordered a mask. Good, the sooner the better, because I don't want to see your ugly face. I love Tokon Shop Global. I as well. The stars of today and the legends of the past come together on your smartphone. NJPW Collection. Pick up cards from special draft events. Use your collected cards to form your own faction or exchange them for limited edition special cards. Check in live from venues or remotely from home to get special tickets and items. Add all of New Japan Pro Wrestling to your collection now. NJPW Collection. お待たせしました。本日のメインイベントスペシャルシングルマッチ20分一本勝負を行います。Well, time for our main event. Time for revenge for Leo Rush, who was certainly done dirty in the Super J Cup tournament by his opponent tonight. And it could have been a whole different story in terms of that tournament's outcome. Were it not for El Fantasmo hitting that low blow on Leo Rush outside of the referee's view. But a chance to make things right here on the new beginning in the USA Tour. Can Leo Rush get the victory over El Fantasmo? Let's see what happens. Aokona, 168cc, 72.5kg, the man of the hour, Leo Rush! has had a taste of the shenanigans of El Fantasmo. You gotta believe that he's prepared for all of that. I want to see what his answer will be this time. controversial, as physically talented as any athlete we've ever seen, but an ultimate provocateur. What is it about El Fantasmo, Alex, that just makes it so damn hateable? Well, he hasn't he hasn't earned anything that he, all, all the accolades that he has, like just being back-to-back -back Super J Cup winner, he hasn't earned it. He hasn't deserved it. He's a vile, horrible human being. He makes Kenta look like an angel. Well, I think that's about probably the best, most accurate description of El Fantasmo that we could imagine. There's a lot of men that are gunning for El Fantasmo. First and foremost, Leo Rush. Don't, don't. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Don't suck a yoba now, Blair. I'm sitting behind the commentator's booth. He's throwing water bottle. Come on now. Just trying to get under your skin. Well, he, he's been under my skin. I haven't wrestled in a long time, but I just... I, he makes me want to get into a fist fight. I know, I know. It's okay. What it, listen, you should... I you should focus on Leo Rush. You know, I'll, I'll let Leo do the work for me. I'll let Leo do the work for me. Suka Yoba, man. All right, I know, I know. Son of a gun. I'm sorry. That's all right. It's all right. Can't stand the man. Why do you have to ruin so many goddamn clothes? I'm gonna, uh, yeah. gonna look forward to Leo Rush putting his hands on this piece of crap Phantasmo. Referee right Jeremy Marcus having to <laughs> officiate this contest with El Phantasmo certainly taking his time. Sorry, Kevin, I'm uh, a little bit riled up. It's okay. I, I just, I it's okay. Take a moment. All right, so now our main event is set to go. 
My bell sounds and we are underway. El Fantasmo back to back Super J Cup winner. And one of his victims in this year's tournament was Leo Rush, who kicks away the disingenuous offer of a handshake from El Fantasmo. Oh, no bow tie up to begin. Be interesting to see how Leo Rush, will he change his strategy? Will he be more aggressive? Will Fantasmo be able to capitalize? Look at the way in winning the tournament in the finals, what El Fantasmo did to ACH, attacking him from behind before ACH could even make his way to the ring long before the match started. That's right. Pro Wrestling Tees slash LP Wrestling go swag up. He has absolutely no respect. He spit on the legacy of Dushin Thunder Liger. Yeah, when Liger devised the Super J Cup tournament in 1994, I'm sure the last thing he ever imagined would be somebody like El Fantasma winning it not once but twice. It's the only saving grace is that this year, Jushin Thunder Liger could not be here to be part of the tournament, to witness the disrespect of El Fantasma once again, and then for him to throw a water bottle at you. I mean, it's just unprecedented what he's done. Side headlock takeover. You know, rush the head, scissor escape. He'll take you up over. over. LP able to break the grip with the head scissors and... Well, Leah Rush is going to have to use his agility and his high flying ability. And he, I'm sure, has prepared for the shenanigans of Phantasmo. Yeah, Rush is certainly a pace changer, and he can dial it up when he needs to. And Phantasmo sneaking in from behind. Now the snap mare. He'll clamp on the rear chin lock. I guess the best way to beat a high flyer is to keep him grounded. Yeah, but the referee uh, hopefully will, will be paying close attention to Fantasmo. Fantasmo has a tendency of cheating, pulling on a hair. Yeah, he will certainly seek any opportunity to break the rules for his advantage as Leo Rush able to trip Fantasmo, float up into the front face lock. Washington, D.C. native Leo Rush. Originally trained in Maryland, Maryland Championship Wrestling. That was his home promotion when his wrestling journey began. And a real prodigy went on to win the Top Prospect Tournament in Ring of Honor and has circumnavigated the globe, proving that he is the man of the hour. You know what's uh, even more hateable about Phantasmo? Is that underneath all these shenanigans, the, the dude is good. He yes. can, he's good. He's skilled, but he he relies so much on the on the on the cheating. Wait a minute. Yeah. Rush pops over. One count. Fantasmo sweeps the leg. Rush immediately kicks out. Again, that was the uh, Come on, that, was one. that was the book on Fantasmo when he first came to one. New Japan back in 2019, and came in as uh, what we anticipated being a fan favorite and a high-flying wrestler who wrestled a very clean style as we had seen in Rev Pro and throughout his uh, extended stay in Europe. But he comes in, joins Bullet Club, and his true personality came out. My God, what is he doing? And a rush, pushing him off against the rope. Drop down. Fantasmo. Yep, flying through, and now the pace quickening to Leo Rush's Dude. liking. Wow. And an even exchange. Very much the even exchange. Huh? What do you got? The trash. The trash. The trash. Shoving each the other. Trash. Leo Rush not backing down. Leo Rush calling him trash. That's an apt description, young man. And fires back and rips a forearm. That buckles the knees of 
LP, who five minutes has elapsed, tries five to send minutes. Rush across, and no. Yeah. Now Rush changing direction. Oh, this is it. Quick change offense by Aurelio Rush, who drops the elbow in the cover and a kick out. Oh. That kick to the face of Phantasmo, that felt good. Yeah, I'm sure this is a satisfying encounter for everybody who knows and has seen and has loathed El Phantasmo throughout his run in New Japan. Reversal though, the Irish whip. Leo hard to the corner, the escape. Phantasmo on the chase and gets sent to the outside. Rush connects with the boots to the top of the head. And the Super J Cup tournament winner is frustrated by the man that was one of his victims in this year's run as Phantasma went back to back. There's no timeouts here. Why don't you get in the ring and wrestle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Tasman's going to buy all the time Ten. he can get. Rolling in the ring and rolling out, resetting the count, the trying to buy himself some more time. Back up, back up, let him in. Let him I would, in. if let I was a Leo Rush, I, I wouldn't allow Phantasma to get all that time. He's being careful. Yeah, you got to be cautious because, again, Leo Rush trying to catch him. Good. Leo Rush. Was a great amateur wrestler as well. Hard kick to the chest of Phantasmo, but Phantasmo kicks out. Mounts, mounts him. Looking to apply a rear naked choke hold. Phantasmo trying to roll out. But Leo Rush staying on top of him. All right, now watch as Phantasmo has a hold of Leo Rush. Flying out. Oh, flips face first. Pancakes him. Oh, my DDT goodness. He spikes him. Pancaked him and then DDT'd him and the leg is hooked and a kick out. A kick out by Leo Rush. Phantasmo finds himself in quite a battle here with Leo Rush. One that we have been eagerly anticipating, much like next week's main event, Kenta versus John Moxley for the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. The long-awaited battle between those two happens next week, right here. Hard chop by Phantasmo. And a short forearm. And another chop. Punishing Leo Rush. Now choking him on the middle rope. You know, in addition to all of the antics and shenanigans, as you say, Phantasmo not only is a skilled wrestler, but he has cardiovascular endurance for days. The man can go. It's just the man doesn't... He doesn't know when to stop. He's, he's just not pure. <laughs> and now raking the back of Leo Rush, trying to shred the skin. Tattoos tell the story on Leo Rush of a young life, which hasn't always been easy. But Phantasmo uh, looking to add his own artwork to oh. the body and now driving Leo Rush in chest first into the buckle. Son of a gun, man. Oh, what is this? Are you kidding me? What a, what a mockery. Mo is he mocking is he you? When does he stop, Alex? When does he stop? He doesn't. He doesn't. That's the problem. He, he, he has uh, such a need to, to be so disrespectful. To spit in the face of all that came before him. And a hard chop to the chest of... Leo Rush. Yeah, Phantasmo 
Oh, yeah, we're all to believe that your hand hurts after that one. Wait a minute. Rush puts the brakes on. A unique slide and an Ten escape. Ten minutes has elapsed. There Ten minutes. And that's what Leo Rush needs to do. He needs to be evasive. He needs to be quicker. Springboard well, goes for it. Ugh. Right, the springboard cutter off the first rope. But now, oh, no, 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 wait a minute. It drops down over the back. And now, El Fantasmo, oh! Able to spike DDT him. That's what I'm talking about. He'll go for a cover here. Leo Rush on top of Fantasmo, too! Oh, my God, that was so close. Fantasmo barely able to lift his shoulders up. But this is good, this is good. Fantasmo rolling to the corner. After taking that big DDT, and Leo Rush has got him targeted. And a hard punch to the gut, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, all the satisfaction you can feel coming through Leo Rush here after what was denied from him by El Fantasmo during the Super Jacob tournament. Rush trying to send LP across. Fantasmo put the brakes on. Nice, that's a good shot. Oh, you could that's what I'm talking You could feel about. Leo Rush trying to seize that momentum now in an effort to get a victory that eluded him because of the Low blow from Phantasmo in the Super J Cup. Now sending him across. Phantasmo up and over. Swing and a miss. Watch this. Oh, wow. Springboard cross spot. Two. Phantasmo nearly beat. Look now as he transitions perfectly. Oh, lands on his feet to the moonsault. How in the world did he do that? Rush caught him. Able to connect. That's what I'm talking about. If we can make, make that cover. Cover. Two. He almost had it. So close. Again, Phantasmo denying Leo Rush the victory. Leo Rush getting fired up. He needs to keep his eyes on the ball. Send him up in that corner. Trying Looking to, to go to the top, but Fantasma holding on to the ankle of Leo Rush, pulling the knee pads down. Doing anything he can to prevent Leo Rush from heading topside. And now Rush having to readjust before beginning once again the climb to the top. He's taken a great deal of punishment, but he's been able to fight through and now goes and stands on the top rope. Fantasmo's down! What? Oh! Fantasmo puts his feet up, but Leo was ready for that. Hang on. Roll up, no. Oh, he goes, he goes for it. We... Uh, hand uh, caught the cookie Leo's jar. Ready for yes. That's what I'm talking about. And now rolls him over, crucifix style two. Oh, oh my God, that was. Was that two or three? That was so oh close. Oh my God. Fantasmo kicking out at the very last millisecond. Jeremy Marcus letting everybody know that it was two and no more. Leo Rush with the nearest of near falls. So close. Get up. All right, so now Rush turning him around. Wait a minute, no. Oh, oh throwing Phantasmo it. pushes Leo Rush into the into referee. Referee, and now Phantasmo. Watch out, watch out. He's looking for, oh. he lands a super kick. Super kick. Hey. He's been very effective with that. He just knocked Leo Rush cold with that oh. super kick. Oh, God. Time, 14 minutes and oh, five seconds. Is. Here is your winner, L. Phantasmo! So Phantasmo wins again with the super kick as Leo Rush. Well, he attempted to go for that low blow. This time, Leo Rush had an answer. But then Phantasmo shoved Leo Rush into the ref. Once again, and that your moment of distraction L was enough Fantasmo. for him to execute that. Very effective super kick, knocking Leo Rush out. Hey. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah.
So Fantasmo is your winner. El Fantasmo has defeated Leo Rush here. Again. 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 Why don't we just go, why don't we go to the back? Why don't we just disappear? Disappear, Fantasmo. We've seen enough of you. Kevin Kelly, LP, beats Leo Rush again. That's right, bro. That's right. You know, I'm going to give it to you, dude. You're very good. You're a go-getter. You're very successful in what you do uh, besides your music. But you have accomplished a lot in this pro wrestling business. But kid, you ain't got one thing against me because I am Mr. Back to Back. I am the ace of the junior division. And if you wanna come into my company in my division, well kid, you gotta get through me. I'm right here, bro. You know what to do. Go talk to the office. Japan's waiting. The best of Super Juniors is waiting. The world is waiting for the man of the hour. But right now, I'm the man of the century of the multiverse. Shout out Rick and Morty, season one Bardell Entertainment. Damn, what a good cartoon that was. Well, that puts a wrap on things here on night one of the new beginning in the USA Tour. Alex, we saw tremendous action in our six-man tag team opener with Rocky Romero, Big Poppy Pump, and Adrian Quest getting the win. And then, of course, some controversy with Fred Rosser getting the win over Hikaleo. Look, look, Kevin, I, I got only one thing on my mind, and that's Phantasmo. Let me tell you something, Phantasmo. One day, one day, you will get yours. I promise. I can't wait to see that. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, next week, uh, we've all been talking about it, and the time for talk will be over. Because finally, at long last, Kenta will get his opportunity at the U.S. Heavyweight Championship. Next week's main event is one that everybody around the world is going to be talking about. It's Kenta versus John Moxley for the IWGP U.S. Heavyweight Championship right here on New Japan Strong. Don't you dare miss it.